Welcome grade 10 students. Here you will find more information on how to select courses for a successful grade 11 year. Each student follows a pathway in which they are suited. There is no right or wrong path to take. Take time to acknowledge your strengths and weaknesses and let them be your guide. Taking the time to complete the Who Am I surveys are a good start. You can explore your learning styles, your personality, your interests, knowledge, motivations, and then start compatibility surveys. In the work section of my blueprint, you will find out more information about the labor market and job outlooks. There is an entire section dedicated to apprenticeship in my blueprint. It is found under post-secondary pathways. You can find out more about careers in construction, industrial production and maintenance, motive power or repair, agricultural, tourism, and service. Here are some ideas on how to prepare, starting with a co-op program. It can be the most important course you take at HCC. Since many of our apprenticeship programs are based in the technology sector, taking a tech course is another great step. College is a traditional post-secondary pathway. Local colleges in our area include Ridgetown College, known for some of their agricultural programs, Lambton College, known for pre-service firefighting and some of the power engineering programs, and Fanshawe College, which has many business and technology-based programs. The My Blueprint section of post-secondary compares colleges and universities for you and allows you to see which pathway best suits you. It outlines the benefits, the occupations, the cost, and the application process. Doing your research goes a long way to preparing you. University is the pathway that most students feel they will follow when they enter HCC. But the reality is that less than one third of our students accept a university offer each year. University programs focus on developing critical thinking skills and providing a wide base of knowledge. Students are expected to develop the ability to think critically about texts, ideas, and opinions, and to be able to express their own understanding and ideas through writing. Many university programs require students to learn and master specific skills, such as performing experiments, designing prototypes, and writing computer programs. Again, starting in my blueprint and checking out the links in post-secondary, you can find out why you may or may not want to pursue a university education. The Ontario University's information website, however, is the most up-to-date site and has all the information you need, including a link to scholarships and the actual application. When you think about it, all of our pathways lead to work. However, some students choose to start immediately following secondary school and earn money before they apply to post-secondary school. Some students decide they like work so much and it offers so many opportunities that they choose to focus here and opt not to pursue a post-secondary education. We are fortunate to have our community partner, Employment Choices, located just down the road. Check out the link so you can see what supports they offer to those seeking employment. When you are looking to choose your courses, pay attention to the course codes. In grade 11, there are five different course codes, O, U, C, M, and E. Each of the codes represents a different pathway. While it is fine to mix different levels of courses, make sure the one that you select is leading you to the pathway of your choice. Open level courses are suited for all learners. However, they may not lead directly to university or even college. Ensure that you check out the course descriptions to ensure you have made the correct choice. Your grade 10 religion teacher will have helped you out by recommending open level religion or the mixed level. Other open courses include phys ed courses such as fitness, healthy active living, and the Hockey Skills Canada course. College level courses most often follow grade 10 applied courses and naturally lead to the college post-secondary pathway. Math, English, science, and some tech courses are offered at the college level. Mixed level courses such as HRT 3M World Religions, 
and MCF 3M grade 11 functions and applications are suited for students who are achieving at minimal level three in grade 10. Both of these mixed level courses lead to university levels in grade 12. MCF 3M also leads to grade 12 college math. University courses or 3U courses have the academic level as a prerequisite. Not only that, it is recommended that you have achieved at least a minimum of level three in grade 10 academic. If you are achieving grades in the 60s and selecting 3U courses, please ask yourself, why are you selecting university as your pathway? What universities are accepting grade 12 students with grades in level one or two? Have you done your research? Are you aware that you must have the prerequisite courses and strong grades to get into university? At this point, I do not have a current list of eLearn courses. Please note that in my blueprint, they will be listed under eLearn courses and have no synchronous or live lessons. You must be an independent learner to select these courses. Sometimes students are placed in eLearn courses when we do not have enough students to run a course. Instead of placing a student in their alternate course, a student is placed in the eLearn section of the selective course. If this happens to you and you do not want to be in an eLearn course, please reach out to your guidance counselor. Make sure you are checking the graduation indicator on my Blueprint's high school plan page to track what courses you still need in order to graduate. After consulting your graduation indicator, you should have a good idea of what you have to take. Remember, grade 11 students do not get spares. You must have 23 credits in order to earn a spare. All grade 11 and 12 marks will be listed in your transcript, whether the mark is your best or not. Math, religion, and English are compulsory, so most of you will have five options. Here is what your grade 11 and 12 plans will look like before you enter optional courses. In grade 11, you need English, World Religions, Math, and any remaining compulsory courses. In grade 12, you need English, Religion, and any remaining compulsory courses. Remember, you must have taken at least one arts course and one physical education course in order to graduate. If you have yet to select one, this is a good time to take one. There are no prerequisites for physical education courses in grade 11, except for the PSK4U Introduction to Kinesiology course, which requires biology. For an arts course, since senior arts courses require grade 9 or 10, you can select a grade 10 open arts course if you have yet to take one. Please ensure that you check out any courses with an asterisk. They are offered every other year, so they will not be available when you are in grade 12. Visual arts courses are listed here. Remember that M level courses have prerequisites. If you would like to take the portfolio course in grade 12, you must have the grade 11 mixed art course in grade 11. Music classes are offered yearly. The focus is in brass, woodwind, and some percussion instruments. If not enough senior students select music, it will be combined with the grade 10 class. Drama has been offered yearly. However, senior drama classes may only be offered every other year. In order to take the ADF 4M director's course, you must have completed the ADM 3M course. The Hockey Skills Canada course will be offered to senior level students if there is enough interest. You do not need to have taken the course in the past. Courses are offered at the Gemini for the scheduled ice time and in the gym or room 211 for the off ice sessions. There is a $100 fee for this course. If you are a senior student who has taken the course previously, earned a superior grade, and wish to explore leadership opportunities, please speak to Mr. Hagel about whether you should pursue the IDC 4UE peer tutoring course instead of PAL 3.0. Cooperative education courses consist of a community connected experience and in class curriculum that incorporates relevant expectations from the students related course or courses. Students will develop skills, knowledge and habits of mind that will support them in their learning at school and beyond today, 
and in the future, as well as in their education and career life planning. Within the context of the community connected experience, students will apply, extend and refine skills and knowledge acquired in the related course or courses and will apply skills, knowledge and habits of mind that will protect and promote their health, safety and well-being. They will create and implement a learning plan that meets their particular interests and needs, reflect on their learning and make connections between the experience in their community and other aspects of their lives. Cooperative education is worth two credits and is scheduled in consecutive periods, period one and two, or period four, five, six. There is an application to be completed and submitted to the co-op office to make placement arrangements. The course is scheduled in room 102 for in-class sessions, which are usually scheduled for the first two weeks of the semester and every third Wednesday following this. Students must be able to manage their time to complete coursework online for the co-op teacher, as well as the expectations of their placement supervisor. A co-op application will be made available in my blueprint. Co-op is a compulsory part of the SHSM program. It may also be taken in summer school. Look for more information to follow. Specialist high skills majors are a specific bundle of eight to 10 courses in the student selected field. Students can earn valuable industry certifications, including first aid and CPR qualifications, gain important skills on the job through cooperative education placements. Currently, HCC offers SHSM programs in the nonprofit area. Major, major credits include grade 11 religion, Canadian and world, uh, studies courses, humanities and social science programs, as well as ComTech. Agriculture and construction SHSM programs are based in science and technology courses. You must have major credits in grade 11 and grade 12, co-op at some point, as well as English, math, science, or business at the senior level. For the construction SHSM, you also must take grade 12 math. As in previous years, course selections are completed in my blueprint found in the VLE. You can go into my blueprint at any time and can start submitting as soon as February 1st. Courses will be locked in by February 12th. We are still waiting to hear about summer school. I will update you as soon as I can. If you plan to take a summer school course, please do not select it in part of your courses. If it is a compulsory course such as English or math, please move it to your grade 12 column so that you are able to continue with your course selection. At this point, Ms. McNally is the guidance counselor for all grade 9 to 11 students. You must select alternate choices. These choices must not be choices currently in your selections, but courses that you will take should your first choice not be available or should your schedule include a conflict. You will not be able to submit your course selections without this process. Students who do not select courses by Friday, February 12th might find themselves locked out. Please ensure that you do this in a timely manner. 